Welcome to Dak Man Productions and welcome to Conahay Rail. Uh, today we'll be doing a little bit of more switching. I decided to do another small little switching video and explain it uh, before we get started here. As you can see, um, this is a uh, grain facility or a grain yard, and uh, at this grain yard, um, the farmers bring in corn, uh, pretty much for grain, and it's processed at this facility, and it gets shipped out uh, to Purdue Farms. Uh, this very thing happens in my own town. I am in a town of a lot of farmers. They grow corn for grain. It gets shipped to a Purdue facility, and it actually goes out on rail cars to Purdue Farms. So this really does happen. Um, and the farmers truck it there by trucks and then from that facility goes to Purdue Farms. Uh, the inspiration for the grain facility or that particular silo here uh, was when I went to a train show in Edison, New Jersey back in 2015, I believe. And the independent high railers actually had this structure on their layout during the show and I absolutely fell in love with it so they they sort of inspired me not to only get this building but I became friends with the many members of the independent high railers and I actually got uh, hooked on high rail um, O gauge operations and layout so I decided to turn Conahay rail into a high rail layout uh, right around 2017 because uh, they pretty much influenced me and I liked what they were doing I liked how they were doing realistic operations and stuff like that and being prototypical so I, I really got hooked on that so shout out to the independent high railers club O-Gage club uh, if you haven't seen them before you can catch them at the Greenberg show in Edison New Jersey and of course uh, Somerset as well uh, sometimes so, uh, also that silo kit, for those who are interested, is a Corber kit and is available from Mr. Muffins. And yes, Mr. Muffins is a real name because every time I post, this came from Mr. Muffins, people think I'm kidding around and joking. That is no joke. Mr. Muffins is a real name hobby shop. He's a great hobby shop, a big, huge one for... Uh, O Gage, he's a big, huge Atlas dealer, or Atlas O. So check out Mr. Muffins. It is a real, true hobby shop, and he sells uh, some great things. He does a lot of custom runs, so his favorite road name seems to be Monon, so he, he's had a lot of Monon uh, custom runs made. So check him out as well. And he also absolutely has a YouTube channel. Mr. Muffins has a YouTube channel. So, um... But he actually bought Corber out, and he makes these kits. And while we're on the subject of Mr. Muffins, we'll pan around here. And Mr. Muffins also is the one who assembles and puts together the Ameritown kits, uh, like this crystal ice that I built here. Uh, that was originally a furniture factory, I believe, but I turned it into a nice house. So he also uh, supplies the Ameritown kits as well. So Mr. Muffins does a lot more than people think. So here is our grain train that we that was dropped off. We have to get that grain train from there all the way into that yard. Now when I built this yard and I see so many people uh, pretty much, 
ask about creating reverse loops so um, I'm going to point out that um, I did inadvertently make a reverse loop I think it'd be easier to show you guys an overhead view of that so this is the inside main here and this is the inside main over here so what happens or what I did is I took a switch and it comes from this inside main comes across shoots across the yard so you back down and you can actually pull forward again by doing that it reverses the train so it's not really a true reversing loop I call it a, a, re a reversing Y but uh, so that's what I created uh, I guess you could call it a reversing Y or a big huge Y so at <laughs> any rate let's get started with our um, switching video hope you enjoy
And uh, once again, I appreciate everybody who uh, watches Dakman Productions and who has subscribed. If you run into one of my videos and you like them, please subscribe. That's so important to uh, YouTube channels. I, I've seen all my analytics uh, that 82% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you like them and you're watching them, please consider subscribing. Uh, and, and that makes a that really supports uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, thanks a lot, and see you next time.